What is up? This is Jimmy from the White Rocket Basics Laboratory coming with another video today. I received a Facebook message from a lady wanting to know how to create text in a circle basically in the format of a circle. So she sent me something similar to this which I can kind of see what she was trying to do um, but we can fix that. So we're gonna move this to the side and basically she wants this in a perfect circle so how she would approach that is select the ellipse tool up here and come over here and hold shift to keep things proportionate because we don't want ovals this is kind of an oval so hold shift and drag and hold and let it go so to make it simpler we will turn click this little arrow right here to swap the fill and the stroke so we just want a stroke and it makes it simpler you don't necessarily have to do that but um, so now you have your circle and you want to come up here to your text tool but you want to click and hold and then come down to type on a path very important so once you have that set up go ahead and come over here onto the path and just click on it and it'll auto auto fill with the example text so what do we got here I love talking to cats all you gotta do is start typing and then after you're done with that given there is multiple ways to do this this is just my specific way go ahead and click on the selection tool and you'll have these right here are separators you don't need to worry about those right now this little line I'm talking about these lines right here this little line right here basically I want you to if you don't have it turned on go up here to view down to what's called smart guides and you can hit control U to turn that on which I use them all the time they come in handy so after you turn those on get your selection tool and come over here to that little line and this little arrow will pop up when you're on it and click on that and hold and drag it all the way around don't go in or out just stay nice and steady on the path and line it up until you see this little purple line pop up so you're lined up with this little the little square right there the anchor point Wow, I'm totally screwing up. So, once it's lined up there, it's now centered towards the top. So, you can once again hit the letter T on your keyboard to go to the type tool. And mine's already centered, but in case yours isn't, you can highlight all of this and come up here to center it. If it's a line left, it's not going to do what you need it to do. So, go ahead and center it. And now it will be centered from this point to this point. So that is your first text. Now the other way I would do this is to one you can just copy and paste this or select it hold alt on the keyboard and then drag up here to duplicate it and then go ahead and get your text tool again select it all and we are going to change it to what animals do you see okay now we are going to take the center line again right here at the top and instead of being aligned with this middle top anchor point we're going to line it down here to the bottom anchor point so click on it again and drag it all the way down until your purple line pops up so you're center for center okay and now you see this center point right here we're gonna use that to line it up with this one so go ahead and get it your nice little purple text pops up for center point and drag it right over here until you're about in the middle and eventually you'll find it it'll snap to it just like that 
So now you're on center and center. And let it go. So, now that's a problem because it's upside down. What do we do about it? Well, when you get it selected, go up here to type on a path, type, type on a path, type on a path options. So we want to turn preview on because we like to see what we're doing and we want to flip it because we want it to, we don't want it upside down so we want it right side up. So hit flip. Now the problem is it is lining on the inside of the circle while this one is lining up on the outside of the circle. So it's not necessarily making a circle, a perfect circle, at least they're not even. So what you want to change this to is it's A cinder or D cinder? A cinder. So now we got a good thing going, but this one is right on the line while this one has a little bit of gap. So I mean, it's not perfect and we like perfect. So go ahead and hit OK on that one. And we're going to go up here to the top one, select it, go back to type on a path options. And we're going to change this one, turn on preview, to descender. And voila, they both have about the even, same even gap that you noticed before. And we now have perfect text compared to this one in a circle. So after that, I mean, you can get kind of going beyond what we need to do now, but if you wanted, how big is this? This circle is 434 by 434. So let's say I want to make a circle just that size. Go ahead and select the ellipse tool and just click one time. <clears throat> I believe that was right, 434. We'll just go ahead and hit OK because I'm going to change it anyways. So now we have a circle, whoops, roughly the size of this one. And once again, we're going to grab the center point and we're going to center it up perfect with this one. Now you can make it fancy if you want. You can re-add the stroke. So what I did was just no fill here. It's X'd out in the stroke. You can bump this up a little bit, make that look kind of cool. Or another thing you can do, getting a little complicated, is hold shift to keep it proportionate because it's a circle and drag up till you're just about in the middle of this text, just where you're going through all the letters, right down the middle. And then come down here and do the same thing. Make sure you're holding shift and come down here and go right in the middle again. And then what we can do, I mean, this is just prettying it up. I'm going to make this stroke a little thicker. So now we can't read the text, so that's a problem. Go ahead and come over here. You might not have this default shown. It's right underneath the paintbrush, but if you don't, it's probably the eraser tool on your screen. But if you come down here and hold and go to the scissors tool, this is a fancy little tool. I'm not going to do things exact here, but now, when you come over here, after you have to select the scissors tool, come over here and we're just going to, let's say I want just this part and just this part showing. And I want to delete all this. So what you can do is come right, I want it to stop right there. And we want to click right there. Now, that basically, we snipped it. So as you can see, this point is no longer continuing around. This point stops here and this point stops here. So this is its own separate line. So we can just click there and hit delete on your keyboard and twice to delete both those points. So now you have fancy text with a fancy little border and we can come down here and do the same. So we want to trim here and we want to trim here. And this time, the one we want to cut is already selected. These are deselected. So we just hit delete and delete again to delete all the points. And now you have a pretty little border to connect your text together. So hopefully that helps somebody out. Hopefully this looks a little better than this. Um, 
yeah, if you have any questions, shoot me a comment. Thanks.